Good morning, everybody. I've got too many replays, so I'm going to record and delete some slash all of them. Uh, let's start with this one. So this is going to be Vanquish Soul Snake Eyes, because that's what I usually play. I kind of want to play Plunder Patrol, I'm going to be honest. Oh, I'm going second. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Our only disruption is uh, Ash Blossom. Okay. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, it's... Uh... That was probably a bad Ash, right? Or maybe not? No, that was definitely a bad Ash. I mean, you'd want to Ash the Sinful Spoils now. Or does King Sarcophagus pretty much get them a negate? I actually don't know. Oh, well, they have it anyway. What the heck? I'm Seti. What am I looking at? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how these, uh... What? I don't know how these, uh, <laughs> how these cards work. What? This guy stinks! Huh? Jaugen? Dude! This guy reeks. Alright. Faithful Razen. They're gonna summon this one to our field? Oh no. Alright, well, Rosin's gonna destroy IP Mascarina. We're using Rosin here to kind of, like, force the Mascarina interaction. Because we can go straight into the battle phase. I can't special summon monsters, which means I can't really destroy this guy, right? Discard one card from your hand. Destroy all special summon mon- Oh, I didn't know you could do that with this guy. Wait, what? Hmm. No way. Hey, how's it going, McCreathen? Wait, was that bait? So that he could... I mean, no, that's dumb, right? Because drawing isn't all that great. And he didn't even use his IP Mascarina. But Rosin was there to, like, cover the Mascarina quick effect, so... I guess they figured we wouldn't kill them in one turn. Oh my goodness. How many cards is that? Eight? Effect Veiler, but we have the Borger. He made a wall, you lose now. No, we don't lose. We're gonna win. Watch us win. He doesn't even know. Have I even normal summoned yet? Oh, we're gonna take their Poplar. Yeah, that's right. Boom, original sinful spoil. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they know where th they know where this goes. They know where this goes. They just surrendered. You can't attack directly. <laughs> I didn't enter battle phase yet. <laughs> they knew they knew where that was going. They were going to lose all their uh tr trust trust trust. We were going to wipe their whole field. Trust. Because what was going to happen there was I was going to summon this guy, who can then add a Kurikara to my hand, which would have tributed everything on their field that activated, right? They activated almost, I think, everything on their field. So they knew that their entire field was about to get tributed, and that's why they surrendered. I assume. I don't know. I, I can't read their minds. Flu? Ew. Well, you know what? Flu ain't that bad. Can't believe I'm saying this. I see. Hard to understand, but I kind of get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, I have this big giant snake mommy whose effect is any card that used its effect will get tributed. So if they have, even though they have like a bunch of cards on field, right? 
if they activated their effects that turn, and they did, then I can just kind of yoink them with that card. What this deck tries to do is uh, not let you use your graveyard by drawing some kind of floodgate, but they don't seem to have the floodgate, so it's kind of not as strong as it could be. Effects are like abilities? Yeah, if you read each card, they have effects here. Like, you can only use each of the following effects once per turn, and then these are the two effects. If you use the ability, the card gets removed only with that card in particular that I mentioned. Not all cards can do that. It's just one very special card that can do that. And there she is. Yeah, see, this is the card I was talking about. Kurikara Divine Divincarnate. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by tributing all face-up monsters on the field that activated their effects this turn. So when I search this card, any monster on the field that activated an effect gets yoinked. And that that she's not so, uh, we only play one of her, but you can actually search her with another card. So that's why she's that's why she's good. Why is this so blurry? What the hell? Konami, you're fucking slacking. This is disgusting. Can you please show some fucking respect? On this card art, please? She's got her toes out and everything, and you're sitting here giving me this fucking PNG for ants? I'm ashamed to be a Yu-Gi-Oh player right now. Okay, Book of Moon. Don't care. Alright. Are we going to push this penguin to the back row with uh, Lamberge? Let's see. Yes, we are. Ooh, and there goes Razan. I think they're cooked. Yeah, they're cooked. Yeah, you're cooked! <laughs> did I draw into... When did I have Stake Your Soul? Wow, I drew into Stake Your Soul. Burn them alive. Yeah, those birds got roasted. Damn. They should have. They should have beaten us, but I think they were. Yes, I did top deck a card you need. You you absolutely did. Uh, yeah, you, you correctly deduced that. Yes, I did top deck a card that I did absolutely need. Like without that card, I would not have been able to finish the duel, but I wouldn't have lost. All right, Fenrir. They seem to be on Kashtira. Let's see where they end up. Nope, that's not Kashtira. That is. Snake Eyes, and we're gonna Ash Blossom this card. If you do that, you're gonna win like half of your Snake Eyes matches. But of course they have the follow-up, but that's okay. Um, even though they're gonna be able to create their full board, that Ashing this is always correct. I guess there's a situation where if you know they have Bonfire, you can just Ash the Snake Eyes Ash effect? I don't know, honestly. Maybe. I don't, somebody somebody probably knows better than I. I'm not a, I'm not a pro. I've, I, I've just topped some tournaments here and there, but that's... Honestly, it's... Not, oh, there's another good top deck. Okay, wait. <laughs> so, uh, this card... Basically, uh, all of the monsters you use to make her adds to her total attack. But she also can negate an effect at the cost of her attack. So she's got 2400. That means she has three negates, right? So if I use any monster effect, she can just negate, negate, negate. And uh, we just drew into a card. You can only use if you don't have any cards on the field. Um, <laughs> which just negates her. <laughs> That's just so lucky. <laughs> it's a very lucky top deck. Stick your soul. I don't know if the Zhao Long here was correct, because the uh, Fenrir can probably banish, but we drew into a Borger, so if they try to activate Fenrir. Hmm. Alright, here's the Razen. Razen's gonna pop. Just a little going away present before we tag him out. There we go. We get another draw. Ooh, a Maxi. Okay. 
now we can special summon. Put the trap, sinful spoils, the rock of the vanquisher to get snake eye ash to add Kurikara. Look at that. Okay, well there. <laughs> this is the best combo. They had two monsters. They activated their effects. Here comes Kurikara, and they scoop. All right. Hey, Rosie, yay! How's it going? We're getting through some 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 disgusting Yu-Gi-Oh replays real quick. I was so sleepy, guys. I. I ate a foot-long sandwich, okay? I'm, I was so tired. I ate that sandwich. I didn't even make it to the shower. I was rolling around in bed going, am I going to fall asleep? No. I, I went to the shower. I showered. I washed my hair. And then I rolled around in bed a little more. And then I was like, uh, I got to get these replays done. And now here I am. That's my story. What the fuck is this? This isn't, this is not, this is, no. This is the one of event. Why did I save this replay? This is gonna be garbage. <laughs> I mean, this is just Cash Tira. Yo, why, this card is glued to my hand. It's a one of, but I always have it. All right, you're about to see this shit pop off like for the third time in a row. This card always activates his effects. So does that one, so does that one. Kashira just, they just activate effects. That's what they do. So here comes Razen. Oh, you activated? Okay, okay, very cool. Razen, add Borger. Pop Ogre. Oh, you want to activate? That's fine, that's fine. That is fine, but you go ahead and activate. See if I care. You banished my Vanquishal Dust Devil. Whoa, what is that? It's a Kurikara. Crazy. Effect Veiler? I don't give a fuck. Oh, well, I guess I kind of give a fuck about that. Psych? <laughs> nope. <laughs> that is Vanquish still so funny. <laughs> I sense a scoop. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you can feel when your opponent's going to scoop. Just like a few seconds before they do it. Something about it. Eight turns? I'm scared. There's no way this is a... Uh... Eight turn duel? Oh, I'm going first this time. Nice. I know the term scoop too. Damn, that's crazy. I'm I'm ready to play the Pokemon TCG at this rate. I know scoop. I know top deck. Adding. Am I gonna add a fire back to hand? Interesting. Was that a misplay? Kind of. Oh no, because I have another pop lock. Okay. Wait, what? Reasoning. What? What? Transaction rollback. Ugh! I think I understand why this is a fucking four turn or eight turn game. This, I think maybe this is a mistake. Okay, so 
when when it's my turn, I have player priority to activate an effect, right? Which means I can activate an effect before they activate an effect. So what I should have done here, before activating, I activated Snake Eyes Flamberge to try to push this bright elf to the back row, but that's actually incorrect. What I should have done, one, two, three, four, linked into an underworld goddess of the closed world. Because if I do that as my very first move, they would not have been able to activate the Sprite Elf. We would have taken their Sprite Elf. We get a negate. We can switch Appaloosa over to another Link 4 monster like um, Zephyros. Do I run Zephyros here? I do not. Either way, that was the correct move. Because now we've given them another mill. Another potential mill. Which was not good. See, look, now they got more plays. And now we're going to go into Underworld Goddess anyway, so... Hmm. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. You take no battle damage this turn. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Are we just gonna burn them with Porker? Because that's what this looks like to me. Oh my goodness. Burn his ass! Burn his ass! Hey, the Joni line. How's it going? Oh my goodness. Turn five? We have like. Oh man. Burn! Burn! Ugh, they're gonna get rid of our border, aren't they? No. Ah, damn. <laughs> I need this duel to go quicker. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> they just barely missed lethal here. Imperm. They have six cards left. Oh my goodness. Wait. Can I just crash with Razen? Oh! These sure are some. Oh, you're about to get burned, dude! Oh no, dude! He's gonna get burned. Oof. 
<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Damn, okay, that was a duel. Ugh, eight turns. That was... All of these are two turns, which is kind of unfortunate. Segs with IP. It's kind of unfortunate. It just means, like, you know, we either had too strong of a going first hand or we were able to crack their board wide open. But two turns means there was not a lot of back and forth. Not necessarily. I mean, you can have back and forth in a two turn duel, but anyway. This is a pretty strong going first hand. I mean, triple tactics, Ash Blossom. Not a lot can stop that, except maybe, uh, yeah, Infirm. Okay, Infirm does stop that, actually. Infirm actually really stops that. Because it's not a monster effect. So I can't triple tactics. Ah, but I can huh. Wait. Wait, why did I do that? Wait. They activated Max C. And I ashed it? Oh, to summon Ash. Okay, that makes no, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because now we get to do our full combo here. I didn't realize I had not normal summoned yet because of Rosin. To return the Ash. Being able to add Ash back into your hand is so devious. Kind of fucked up, actually. The reason we add back the Poplar there is because Razen, if we have to Ash, Razen can add a Dark to hand. Oh wait, what? What did I get this Diabell Star? Wait, what? Oh, the Decode Talker Heat Soul gave me the Dark. I see, I see. Well, that was just lucky. Yeah, they, did, they really didn't have any plays. We even looked at their hand. So we knew they didn't have any plays there. Oh, we're going first. Nice. That Kurikawa really is glue to our hand. Let's speed this up. We're gonna add either a dark or the trap. Okay, the dark is uh, interesting. This basically means I'm going for the draw one, which is kind of greedy, but sure, why not? We do into a cross out designator. Mm-hmm. Snake Eye Ash, Ash, add Poplar, Poplar Special Summon, Poplar add the Field Spell, Field Spell put Snake Eye Oak into the back row, Control 1, Poplar, Mascarina, and now we get three summons. Oh, I fucked up here. I had to link her off immediately. Now I can't get that. I can't return. I guess I didn't need to return a card to hand, but I also can't make Promethean Princess a link one. So this is like very awkward. What? What? Huh? This is just bad. What? <laughs> Turn off the oven. Wait, that was awful. What the hell? That was just bad. Ew. Ooh, cross out for the called by. That is... Interesting. Ooh, 
Oof. I mean, that that was just too many negates to play through, to be honest. Yeah, in the, the, uh, I would say that's kind of a bad replay. Standard Vanquish Soul Play. Ah, Maxi. Okay. Well, then we're going to tag out. Well, even if we tag out, we still need... Yeah, we still need one of you. Effect Veil. Ooh, that's a problem. We just got, like, all of our plays stopped. I guess we just, yeah, end on this. It's not the best, but it'll have to do. Oh, what the hecky? They're playing Snake Eyes? Okay, let's see. If we destroy you, then we're just hoping they don't have a good normal summon here. Oh my goodness, but that maxi actually goes kind of hard, not gonna lie. They're gonna target the Xiao Long, that's fine. Add another Xiao Long? At a Caesar. <gasps> oh, because we have an Earth in the hand! We can actually destroy the sinful spoils. Let's see what they do here. Let's see, let's see. Destroy the sinful spoils. Boom. Holy. Maybe it would have been better to destroy the Divine Temple. But we're going to max C. They have a cross out for it. Okay. Oh no, he misplayed, bro. SP means you can't attack directly. Why did he do that? This guy's this guy's uh He's he's going to have a misunderstanding real soon here. <laughs> no, dude, you can't attack directly, dude, dude. He's got headphones on, he can't hear me. Dude. Brother. Your field is ass. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sex with IP. He didn't read his own damn cards. I can get away with not reading them. You have to read them. They're your cards. Rosin. Rosin, normal summon. Add what effect veiler get called by? Add Zhao Long. Triple tactics. Show me your hand. That's right. I got rid of the bonfire and not the lightning storm. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Dust Devil is not as strong as a... Because, like, I assume they're going to... Oh, interesting. Hmm. They hard drawled an Imperm. They're destroying spells. They only have one play, which is summon. Yep. So they're going to go into Poplar... Let's see if we can add something good here. They're going to have to link summon eventually, though. That's the problem. Let's see what they do. Okay, they got... Uh-oh, uh-oh! Bro. If I destroy Link Kuribo, they can't do anything with Flamberish. <laughs> Damn. 
Sometimes it's nice to just hold Razen in their Link Zone. Like, Snake Eyes has to summon Link Monsters. They don't have any other... That's the thing about Snake Eyes, is like... They're gonna go into Promethean Princess eventually, right? If you have a way of stopping that, then you, like, stop their plays. That That's a good choke point for Snake Eyes. Okay, we're going second this time. No disruption whatsoever. Let's see what they've got. Spr wow, actual sprite? I've not seen sprites in a while. Gigantic sprite, so we can't Nibiru. Not that we have Nibiru. Hero Kid. Sprite Elf. Pit Knight early. Masterina. Carrot. That's not bad, I suppose. I can summon another monster here. We're gonna go into... Okay, now this is interesting. Why Zhao Long? Why not... I guess we did... Hmm. Oh, because they're gonna try to negate, but we have the Caesar. Oof, that's one of their negates already. Wait, what? Uh... Uh... I don't know if that duel was over, to be honest. I mean, we were gonna summon... I don't know what their trap was, but like... They could have maybe potentially won that. Alright, let's see here. I was thinking about adding this pyro monster... Instead of Balguska. Let's see here, what's her name, what's her name, what's her name? Do I need Amphibious Wormship? I guess I don't really need access code, do I? Um. Pyro. Level 4. Wow, that actually... Huh. There she is. 